Hey everybody, it's Hosh here and you're watching another Killer Bee Guy adventure in 360 degrees. We captured on the Insta360, it's a hell of a camera, adventure cam, and like I said, it captures in all directions simultaneously. What that means is you're the camera person. So if you're on your phone, you can move your phone around to get different views, different angles, or you can use your fingers, scroll left, right, up, down, you get to you get to choose what you're going to look at. If you're on your desktop, you can do the same thing with a cursor on your screen. Move left, right, up, down, diagonal. It's up to you. Now we're capturing in 4K. And so what that means is that if your signal is splotchy or blurry or in any way uh, not where you want it to be, go into the gearbox on the corner of your screen and you can upgrade your quality uh, as high as 4K if you're, if your broadband or bandwidth or whatever satellite connection will tolerate that. Anyway, come along gang, we've got a, a big old swarm nestled up under a soffit and uh, we want you to be a part of the action. Now, I failed to mention, if you've got a VR headset and you're watching a 360 vid, you can pop that puppy on your head and uh, it's basically like you're here with us. Come on, we're gonna fight killer bees in the metaverse. Let's go. Yeah, they are. God damn it. Yep. Man, all we did was look at them and they blew up. So oh, the looking. That's all in the looking. So say good morning, Hosh. Good morning, Hosh. Hello, everybody. I was just doing our little intro here on our 360 degrees and uh, we're finding that people are having a better viewing experience when I give the little intro there at the beginning. Oh, they, yeah. they know what yeah. to do Tutorial. instead of staring at uh, some inanimate object for an hour and a half and to listening to us. <laughs> Look at our 360 knees. sucks. Oh, well, there's a scratch again. Yeah, please spoon feed me. It's no. the other, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being with us, guys. It's Saturday. Saturday, yeah, I, heard, I thought it was Sunday. Killer bees. He thought it was Sunday. I literally did. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. we got a uh, um, yeah. The swarm I was just telling them about. That all they did was go look at it, and they they decided they knew we, we were there. Yeah, they blew up. I wish you guys could have seen it. All well, there. you're gonna see it in a minute. I mean, yeah, they're it's not like they're gonna be any nicer. It's not like they're gonna change their minds. No, no. But now. but we want to show everybody just how damned ornery these you know African bees are. Anyway, we're going to kind of make quick work of this one because we have another another one after this. And it's a another ball of bees in a bush, but uh, it's low to the ground in sun sites here. And I think that they are building comb. I don't know, but they've been there too long, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Yes. So I'm going to let you grab these guys, and I'm going to drive over there. All right, let's so go. So we got all the, we got the uh, spray adhesive, we got the pendona, yeah. and we're off to see the way. Ready? So I'll see you over there. All right, see sounds you guys in good. A guys, there's a song called Killer Bees. Killer Bees are swarming, crossbred in Brazil in 1957. They spread like wildfire, no turning back. You guys know that song? Killer Bees are swarming today. We've got two Killer Bee swarms and they are banging nasty ass bees. Let's see what we got here. Look at the size of this thing. Ah. I don't want them to blow up because we want to get them, right? We're going to hold off a little bit before sticking ourselves right up in there. And we need to get the, get the goods. Yeah. He's got the old okay, spray the, adhesive. Yeah, the kitty wants to go in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, over there's here. a gimpy cat over there. Yeah. It has a Save our native cats. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, look at that thing. I'm going to 
carry you off somewhere else where it's safe. I suspect it's an animatronic cat. I think if you've ever seen the never ending story, oh, nothing good Lord. Is at the end. I think um, that's that. Oh, you're going to get a good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Let's go over by the tractor. Go ahead and put you down where it's safe. Okay? Good yeah, boy. He's kind of limpy. What Usually cats boy. are not susceptible. What a to kill or be attacks because they're smart. Dogs, on the other hand, well, we've seen our share of dogs go down. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're all good. Thanks for being with us, Killer Bee Nation. Thank you, Ken Kilgore. Yes. Lance, thanks for being with us. We got EMT for life. I see Ramona. I thought I saw Neil Price on there earlier. Hello, Neil. Well, Gregory. <laughs> All right. What? Uh, oh, yeah. He insists we have a bee suit for if him. He, if, he's, <laughs> if he stays there, it'll be fine. Stay there. You'll be fine. Yeah, good luck with that, right? All right. Oh, kitty. Well. All right, let's go take a look at this. All right. Yeah, he's over there. I think I told him well enough. Oh, I can't reach that. You can. All right, you want to switch? Yeah, we'll switch. Okay. All right, so I'll hold this. All right, so... Okay, here. There you go. Oh, the cat's waiting by the door. And now the cat's coming over here, so don't do it yet. <laughs> oh, hey, um, Hosh. <laughs> I'd say waltzing anyone. Yes. Waltzing Matilda. She's drinking some water. All right. Um, yeah, go ahead and hit him now then. Can you reach it? Yeah, with the wind though, it's hard. Boy, look at them rising. They want to blow up. Yeah, they do. Okay, go ahead and hit him with the Fandona. We got to I want to knock him down before Kitty gets too excited about yeah. it. Right? There you go. Yeah, hit him hard with the Fandona. Sorry guys, I was too busy thinking about the Kitty. Okay, well, this is working really well, actually. We're, uh, we got to make it safe. It's just to show that these damn bees are everywhere. And they are swarming this time of year. Which is weird. Hit them on this other end over here, too. There you go. All right, now let that outer layer drop off. Do not try this at home. I've been doing it for 30 years, so. You know, we just want to show everybody the variety of uh, what goes on here with these bees because they're you know they go everything from really really ordinary like yesterday to this one which is really not that bad of course compared to yesterday <laughs> or the uh dragon back to go ahead and let, let's let that drop yep so that uh pyrethrin is working really well dropping them yeah well i'll yeah, tell you what we're, we we're sore today yeah. no we're really sore today yeah, we're, yeah. we're not sore either. Yeah. We're just, I don't know if they have any comb built up there. They might. Oh, there it went. Come on. That's what we want to see. Yeah, look, they got comb. That's what we think. You have comb. Yeah. Only been there a couple days. Hey, look at that. Yep, they built comb. Look at that shit, huh? Cool. Hang on, guys. There we go. No, but I throw on my wrist. I ain't got my big blue. Yeah, yeah. This dumbass. Well. Come on, guys. So, there we go. So we're making quick work of this. We got to knock them down. Yep. So. All right. All right. Well, let them drop, and then we're gonna get the old spray adhesive out again. Yeah. Knock some more down. So yeah, we're. These are all Africanized bees, and they're you know, they're an invasive species. So I don't know what the romance about saving an invasive species is because they're they're debilitating our native environment which people don't realize how important that is. Oh yeah. It's it's like the most important thing. Yeah. Because it's the basis of everything. Look at that huh? Alright, so a little bit more of that and and it's over. We got it. That's it. Yep, yeah. that's it. Everybody see okay? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I think I can get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just a quick one to show you guys. Gotta get rid of these things. And yes, the kitty's just fine. That's why we did it like this, like we did. 
So you guys see the kids drinking water over there. We're not, you know, I, we do this around school, so just relax. <laughs> yeah, relax. So I think I think we got the 360 spread. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yep. So this is working perfectly. Now we're gonna have to treat this down and uh, we're gonna treat it with some deep foam because that's preventative. Awesome, huh? Yeah, yeah. Lance von ah, Plum. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. We got a bunch of dead bees down there and a bunch of comb. We have to grab that out, of course. The ants will get all that. So, anyway, Killer Bee Nation, that is a Saturday morning. Uh, just everybody's Saturday morning, right? Removing a swarm of killer bees. Doesn't everybody do that on Saturday morning? I'm just saying. Anyway. So. Okay, get some defoam up there. Yeah, I think so. Um, well, let's go ahead and, and sign off so we can get to the next one. All right. And we'll bring everybody along. Thank you guys so much for coming with us. Um, we love you guys. Cochise County, look at how beautiful, guys. Look at how absolutely beautiful it is out here. We love you guys. We love having you along. Be sure and check out the shenanigans from yesterday. There's the dragoons. Beautiful. Look at that sky, everybody. Man, isn't Cochise County beautiful? I love it. Look at that. We got some pecan trees back there. And oh, there's some killer bees flying around. Yay. Anyway. We love you guys. Just a little Saturday morning fun with Hosh and Reed. Yay! All right, Hosh, you got anything to say about uh, killer bees? Sure. Let me uh, let me hit this. Okay, very good. All right. Well, I'm going to show these guys. That he's just spraying it with the defoam. It's a preventative, and it'll uh, it it actually uh, doesn't stain or anything. It's really awesome stuff. I'm glad we found it. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at here? I'm going to try to show you guys some mountains. I think it's hard for you to see, though, but we can see about one, two, three, four mountain ranges. We usually can see about seven, as you guys know, but anyway. Yeah, just a, a quick little removal here for the old killer bee guys. And then now, I don't know what's going on with the next one. It's right in town, though, and it's got neighbors and shit, so that's why I'm probably not going to be quite as confident about, all right. about it all. Now listen, if you come home one day after uh, shopping or whatever it is you do, and there's... <laughs> bowling, a, bowling. If you come home from bowling and you <laughs> see a big old ball of honeybees hanging under the soffit of your house, if you're in Arizona, if you're in the desert southwest, they're killer bees. Period. Yep. Period. Yep. It's no question. You don't have to think about it. Now listen, if you say to yourself, oh, but what if they're European? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right. It's not even worth asking that question because European honeybees are an invasive species to the Amer species to the Americas. We don't need these bees. Feral honeybees are not helping feed you. I promise. No, they're not. They're, no. They're, there's too much of this bee. We're saving the wrong bees. Yeah. We Actually, look bees. that up. Have them Google it. You guys should Google that. Google. A excellent video. Google. It, YouTube, we've got it in our pin bins on TikTok. Oh, that's right. But mm -hmm. check it out. Nice little video, but it's a good topic. This is a worthwhile deep dive because pollinators are kind of the enzymatic network web, if you will, yeah. of of everything, of the of the biosphere, of, of any living field. You don't mess around with these things. Honeybees, forget the romance on honeybees, never relocate a feral honeybee hive. Honeybee Africanization is on the rise all over the U.S. And even if you're up in Ohio and you think, oh, look at that docile ball of 
European yep. honeybees. It doesn't matter because European honeybees are a destructive invasive species. That's in right. The they're not non-native, they're invasive. They're invasive. They're yep. not just not native. When they're in a bee box, in a bee yard, well, you can say, oh, they're not native. But mm. once they make their way off out of that bee yard, well, they're invasive at that point. And they're destructive to America's ecosystems. They're, they're destructive to our native plants. Yeah. And they compete with our native pollinators for resources. When it comes to Africanized honeybees, oh, like these are, they're deadly. Thousand it's times a worse. deadly invasive species. They'll kill you, they'll kill your kid, they'll kill your mom, they'll kill your cat, they'll kill your dog. They'll, they'll kill your goat and your cow. Yep. And they won't, yep. they don't even care. They'll sleep fine that night. Yeah. With a, yeah. With, yeah. Think they so won. Anyway, never relocate a hive like this. No. It's a fool's game. Never relocate, always exterminate. We'll see you guys on the next job. Let's save America's native bees. Let's save America's native plants. Here, I'm gonna hand you this. I'll take over that. Uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Love you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go do be important over here. All right, go do it. <laughs>